I am Storm and you can too. And I think today is day 127, but I'm not really keeping track anymore. I'm just going through with the project. Um, I have something to get off my chest and it is not gonna be easy to say. It's not even fun to really think about or talk about, but it's as serious a topic as any that I've ever discussed in my life. And it's uh, my brother and my mom. Um, I don't typically like to get into these kind of deep discussions over the internet, but it's it's not something that I can really let go. So, as I back into my parking spot, um, my mom's been going through a tough time, but it's not really a time that anyone else has made difficult for her except for herself. Um, she married a guy, and, and it's not a guy that I like. And I don't think the kids like him, and I don't think anyone really likes him. But she went ahead and went through with it, so I told her when they were having issues, I said, you know, you married him, and you must have done it for a reason. So you got to try and find a way to make things work. And that was a mistake. Because I really don't like this guy and I don't think he's worth a shit. So time passes and it doesn't get any better. In fact, it gets worse. They're fighting a lot. Uh, nothing's going well. The kids are starting to have issues. Um being around my mom and the guy he married or she married and uh it gets to the point where they're going to divorce but then all of a sudden they're not going to divorce but then they're going to divorce but then they're not going to divorce and they waffle back and forth back and forth back and forth and it's not really him that's waffling because i think he realizes he's got such an upper arm on this situation that all he has to do is just guilt trip my mom and she'll come running i think it's a type of mental abuse that he's engaged in. And now the newest one was his kidneys are shutting down or something. I don't know. He's got a health concern that's keeping them together, which that's pretty unfair. Um, she already had a dog, but they ended up buying another dog. They've moved houses. Um, things just, they're not going well for her. And it finally came to a head. Last week, she told us all, and I'm talking all four kids, her mom, her dad, her sisters, everybody, she was going to leave Brent. She had filed for a divorce. It was a done deal. Um, there wasn't going to be a question about it. It was done. It was over with. Look on for, you know, for her to move to Johnston to an apartment, look for her to improve herself. You know, we, we finally had her figured out. And uh, Saturday rolls around, I'm hanging out with my brother. I kind of screwed up and forgot to pick him up, but then I called him and I got the situation from him that he was gonna go have church with dad, blah, blah, blah ended up hanging out with him anyway had a nice talk with him on my way home and my way taking him home later that night and uh i developed a, a very strong opinion one that i was thinking about telling dad but since mom was leaving brent i really didn't need to say anything Monday rolls around and mom says via text message to all of us, she's going back to him. Called it off. Called off the apartment, called off the divorce, called off everything, gonna give him another chance. That she's sorry that she disappointed all of us and uh, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't know what to say. 
And so I had to call my sister that evening and talk with her about the situation. You know, she's about to be 21. She's smart. She knows what's up. So me and her talk about it. Come to the realization that I'm gonna have to do something drastic. I'm gonna have to tell my dad that he needs to go in for full custody of my brother until mom gets her life figured out. So now I'm stressed because I have to tear my mom's heart out of her chest in order to prove to her that she's losing control of the situation. And I'm the kind of person that doesn't do that. I, I'm not, I think anyone that knows me knows that this would be the hardest decision I've ever come to in my life when it comes to my mom. Tuesday rolls around. I have a long conversation with Papa. I haven't said anything to Mom. I haven't responded because I haven't figured out what, exactly what I'm going to say. But I've more or less figured out what I'm going to tell my brother. And that's, you need to tell Dad and you need to tell Mom that you're going to stay with Dad until Mom can straighten herself out enough that everybody feels com comfortable having him back in the house. Because... He can't be growing up in a house where there's just screaming and yelling and I'm getting a divorce. Now I'm not getting a divorce. I'm getting a divorce. Now I'm not getting a divorce. You can't grow up like that. It's not going to work. It messes you up. It's messing me up. I'm stressed out. I'm not even in Ankeny. I'm 40 minutes away. I'm stressed out over something I can't control. It is driving me insane. So Tuesday rolls around. I get a, I call, I get a call from my papa. Me and him talk. He basically says, I'm not wrong in any of my thoughts. I'm on the right track on everything. But that we got to love and support my mom. But we need to make it abundantly clear that, you know, I'm an adult. And I've got adult, you know, feelings that I need to express. But I need to do it the right way. So finally, I figured out the words that I wanted to say to my mom. And I texted her. And more or less, I said, I, I need you to get help. Today rolls around. Today's the day I had planned on doing it. Turns out that 14 year old kid, he's pretty freaking strong, pretty freaking smart, pretty freaking courageous. He told mom and dad himself that he wants to live with dad while mom takes care of her mental health issues. That he's scared that she's going down a path and that he can't be near it because he's trying to, you know, do his own thing, live his own life, do school, be a good student. That kid, I, I tell you what, I wish I was that much of an adult at that age. I do. What a courageous kid. Two of the most important people in your life and you're able to stand up and tell them honestly and openly exactly how you feel. What a hero. So anyway, so that's that. My brother is going to be staying with my dad. And uh, I don't have a gauge on how my mom's doing. She sent one text message today and it was to update us about the health of her dog, Stella, which leads me to believe that she's fully lost it. Absolutely has no idea what's going on. Don't get me wrong, I care about the health of the dog, but no apologies, no text messages, just a group text message to us four kids telling us about the status of her dog. I 
I honestly believe that I have lost my mother. I don't think that she gets it. And even worse, I think this might be the final push. I'm hoping I'm wrong. But I was wrong when I thought that she was finally calling it quits with Brent. So, yeah. That is today's video. My little brother is the strongest kid I've ever met. Might as well call him adult. 14 years old. And I think I lost my mom. I think she's finally gone insane. So, yeah. Peace.